Hello, everybody. And we're back with home in front of the no-no building that I mentioned in the previous one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. A sink. The grimy sink had a, sm a small patch in that look almost clean. It's kind of... Does that mean it was used? In that one spot? No. There wasn't much in the way of cleaning of clean water there, but the sink still worked. Still did work. What is this? A musty wooden plank pop propped up in the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Then why are you asking if I want to take it? Yes, take it. Don't try to fuck with me, game. I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. Cause I told you to. Is that all there is in here? It's just a sink and a wooden plank. That is progressing. What the fuck? I was kind of disappointed. I thought I was getting out of this woods. The sign was the same as the first one I had seen. This must have been the exit to the other side of the woods. Look at it again. I didn't know who was camping back there, but I couldn't bear to stick around to look for them. They're probably dead. I just wanted to get out of here. There. Whatever. I finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I'd never return there. Hmm. Stay in the forest or leave? Now let's leave. I don't want to. I don't want to be in this forest anymore. I'm gonna get lost. Finding that campsite had been strangely unsettling. I couldn't imagine why anyone would abandon this their site in the middle of the night, especially in that dark forest. They found Bigfoot and then chased him away. I was relieved, at least, to finally be out of there. Even now, I peered through the dense trees. I could see cracks of light in a bit of land beyond. I must be getting closer to town. But where exactly was I? I don't know. I don't even know who you are still. Dude. Where am I supposed to be going? Like, do I have a plan for all this? Just trying to go home? As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I had worked as a ma machinist for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Three times were better than... Oh, times were better than I found where the three came from. Oh, up there. Guys, I still can't read. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. Or maybe it's ghosts. Yeah. It's a huge rip through that fence. Uh, rip through the fence. Door. The fence. Door. Let's go through here. Oh, fuck it. What? How the murder is going on? Another guard. Someone does not like authority. I found the body of... I wouldn't be surprised if the first guy was a cop. I found the body of a security guard just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. Ow. I wondered... Was this fla flashlight his? It traveled really far. Maybe it was. I saw the blunt wound on the guard's head and looked again at the flashlight I was carrying. Oh, God. Was your flashlight bloody? Was he beaten with his own flashlight? Dug into the ground was a cracked old watch. First my wallet, and now this. Did I retrieve my watch? Sure, it's, it's a nice watch. Let's let's take it back. The watch was useless, but I had to put my, put it on my wrist anyway. Well, it's a watch. It's your watch. Shit's mine. Who's here with me? Someone open or close something. One of the locks is hung up. Lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. Like us? We're looking for something. Old work clothes had been picked through, and a few photos 
and notes had been ripped off the door and spread around. Alright. What's this? There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snaking off to other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear and cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't re receiving power. Well, let's make it receive power. Power! Door was locked shut and a sign was pasted on the front that said, Danger! Close for repairs. I didn't think it could be opened. Another useless door. The door was locked. Fuck! It seemed to be connected to the power box inside. Okay. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. The board contained yellow clippings and newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. And Norman took over a general store after the factory closed, he, Rachel, and I would get lunch every now and then. Rachel liked him because he seemed more positive, despite the setback. I don't think I could say the same about me. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been so negative. All the break table and the layer of dust and grime only made seeing this sting more. Oh, it stings. Looked like some beer bottles had been used on the table recently. I wondered, was that guard? Was that guard? <laughs> Fuck! I can't read for shit. Was that guard was he using at his break room of his own? Oh, whatever. Power. Hmm. A power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yes, you did. Good. Power panel still wasn't working. Should I switch it again? Fuck yeah. It's working. The open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. It was a photo of a, a woman taped to the inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognizable. Someone hated that bitch. That woman's photo. I knew I had to get it back. Get back to Rachel to find out what happened. What if that photo is Rachel? What if that's your locker? Or s someone who liked Rachel, that thing, whatever. A stalker. I don't know. Hmm. Power panel. Yes. Switch. Yeah, it's working. A door. It was shut tight. There was rusty looking card slot on the side. Okay, well, I need to remember this time to come back to the stream if I find some kind of card key. Heavy door. Upstairs. Uh, okay, I guess I have one way to go. Door had haste, had been hastily boarded up. But, uh, okay. Just one comment on that thing. This was Norman's locker. The door had been dented like someone had punched it. Damn. I didn't remember him doing that when he worked there. <laughs> well, maybe you fucking did it. Or someone who hated Norman did it. I don't know. I don't trust my character. I just don't. Another panel had, that I had hoped could help me get the power back on. Yes. Perfect. A utility shelf, crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Claw hammer? Yeah. Take the hammer. As I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. Which means someone has been using the hammer. Or it just got placed there. I 
The locker was com a complete mess. Hidden through the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Yes, take the fucking card. I slipped the key card into my pocket. Okay, I need to remember that door that I just passed. Blah, 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 blah. Move faster text. Fuck. Yes. What? It's still not work? What the fuck do you want from me? Oh, okay. Another panel that I hoped... Yeah, 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 yeah. Still wasn't working. No, it's still alone. Fuck. Something's happening. Sounds like I'm falling down the stairs every time I go. All right, secret door. What mysteries do you hold? The key card I found seemed like it would pass through this reader. Did I use the key card? No, we just kind of collect key cards and yes, open the door. somewhere, but I want to check the... Okay, I guess I, I can only go there. There was some kind of ventilation hatch there. It looked like I could jump to the room below. My leg would hurt, hurt, hurt enough as it was, but I couldn't see another option. I jump. Yes! I don't give a crap. Oh, my leg! Oh, man, my leg hurt like hell. Ow! What is this? There was a crumpled up letter on the floor. It had been scratched out heavily and was hard to make out. Then I try to read the... Yeah, you can try to read it. Most of the was finally scratched out with what looked like to be a ballpoint pen. All I could make out was need to. Just don't... drinking... need... Norman. Who was Norman writing to? Or was someone writing about Norman? Aha! The bottom of the ventilation hatch hung open. It was pretty high up. I wasn't sure if anyone could have gotten back up there. Oh, fuck. I didn't think about it. What if I'm locked in here? I could have just killed myself. That poor guard. Was the flashlight I carried his? Looked like he had met his end violently. Yeah, no shit. I only hoped it was quick. That's a bludgeoning. I don't know. It's probably pretty brief. I had to get home to Rachel, but I couldn't stop thinking about Norman. He and Rachel were friends. Could he help? It wasn't like I really had anyone else to turn to. My leg burned with pain. I only hoped I could find my way through the dark path before me and get to Norman's store. Oh, I guess... That's it? Why turn the power on for? Is it for the reader? Oh, there's another door back there. There's a door for the that I needed all that power for, but I chose the one with the key card. Oh. Am I limping even worse now? Or am I just tripping? Examine things. The garbage bin was a a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. And it was my driver's license. It had looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yes, you need your identity back, dude. You don't just leave it around, you know, random shit everywhere. I cleaned the car off as best I could. It looked pretty beat up. Why? Was someone trying to get rid of your existence? Or were you? Oh. I was amazed to have found my credit card, and now this. I took the card into my wallet next to my credit card. My wallet is complete! If I still leave my library card, okay. It sounded like it was going to start raining again. Again. It was raining before. I'd entered Norman's place. Wow, they really... I was right next to the factory, that's kind of convenient. 
I had entered Norman's place. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet, except for the faint sound of a television. Norman, are you watching TV? Are you watching Mad Men? Let's go over here. He loves that show. The entrance to the front of the door was locked from the inside. It looked like I couldn't just pop it open. I needed a key. There was a bit of blood on the key in the keyhole. The entrance to the front door was locked from the inside. Looks like I couldn't just pop. Oh. He didn't say anything different. But All right, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Blood. Uh oh. Oh, well, there's a TV. And there's probably dead Norman. Jesus. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my coworker, one of my few friends I had in this town, lay dead beside his armchair. No. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he had been shot trying to get out. Oh, fuck. His eyes were still wide with shock. Norman, you deserve better than this. Did I close his eyes? Apparently, since I like him so much, sure. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him peace or if I just won. Or if I just couldn't stand to think anymore what happened, what was going on. Quickly, I closed all his eyes. Look at him again. The poor bastard. Bastard! The tea was still frickling in some indecipherable channel. Well, turn it off. I couldn't make out what was on the screen, but it, that glow just gave me chills. Like I said, turn it off. Let's go in the room behind you. Table. I guess that was Norman's kitchen table. You, get, you guess? Okay. He kept it clean, though. There was, there were water rings from two cups. That's. Oh, he's with somebody. I'd never been to Norman's place before. Oh, I guess it wasn't you. At least I don't remember ever doing so. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? He's dead. He's not going to care. Let's go through his garbage. I found a hairpin amongst the rotted food and trash and pocketed it. A hairpin. Hmm. There were takeout containers and food scraps. Looked like Norma was eating for two. There's another person of interest! Move. Shit. What was this? It looked like a pull chain hanging from the ceiling. I wonder where it led. Did I pull the chain? I guess it probably goes to the attic. I have the chain a single tug and a simple folding ladder for that I pop down. Oh yeah. Mystery. What's this? Oh, ah, I went back down. You know what, I've been recording a lot, I think, uh... Since we didn't see anything, I'm gonna end it there, and I'll, and I'll start for the attic for the, the next episode. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys again, as always, for watching.